Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I want to go ahead and update you guys with what I've been doing in Median XL again today. Um, so I ended up stopping the Pally. He's like level 108 or 9. Um, not because of any reason specifically, except for the fact that it's a little bit... It's a little bit boring because it's kind of like a walk simulator build, which I normally really enjoy, but the problem is is that you have to keep rotating buffs on like a 20 second cycle, so it's a very active walking build, and I feel like the risk for reward is not really there for it. Also, the screen is like cluttered with summons because you have like summon Hoplite from one side, then another summon from the dark side, your uber skill is resurrection, and then you have Demiurge, which re like animates things, and uh, anyway, I just wanted to try a new character, so... Today, we have a Storm Zon that we are playing. Um, I didn't know exactly what to expect from this character. It ended up being a melee build. I thought it was going to be like a caster, but to just give you guys a rundown, we're currently using Thundercrack. Now, normally, I would not put points into this because it seems like the scaling is not good because we're scaling weapon damage in this build, and putting points into it gives us flat lightning, which will still scale off of, I believe, like percent lightning modifiers later on, but for early game, leveling it doesn't really do any damage. Uh, we don't really use Storm Call. I used it at the beginning just to level up. Um, Hammer is really good single target until you get to Magnetic Field. The problem with Hammer, I'll just show you a few of these skills and then I'm actually going to demonstrate for you in a second. I just wanted to explain it. Um, so this is the, our main skill that we're going to be clearing with. Hammer is this skill here. Hammer is really good. The problem is, say you're fighting a boss and he decides to go against the wall and you start using Hammer your hammer just hits the wall and dies. So I didn't I didn't really like that necessarily. Um, we also have fire elementals. I don't know what they're for, but they're required to get just to get to the next part in the line. But anyway, we're also using magnetic field instead of uh, hammer for our single target. But one cool thing is that when you put points into Thundercrack, it scales whatever this skill is called. This skill minuses enemy lightning res, gives you maximum damage, gives you dex and energy, and gives you bonus defense. And by putting points into Thundercrack, the synergy actually gives you bonus defense. So this is a pretty simple, like I don't have anything too crazy. I'm using a, a Dreams Wear and whatever it's called, maybe Slayer, uh, and a Sets Shield. Just between pretty much this, uh, with the shield on, we have 14k defense which means that we have 95% chance to avoid pretty much all physical damage, which is really nice. Um, and then that pretty much comes from balance. Balance gives us flat defense and uh, scales itself. And then again, this skill gives us bonus defense, which is like global defense, which scales it. You've got defensive harmony, which slows enemies around you. Um, and then wild and free, which gives you movement speed. And also... Um, gives you hit recovery, which prevents you from getting stun locked, which is really nice. And then the weapon itself gives us life leech. So anyway, let me go ahead and show you guys how it works. It's kind of interesting because I didn't really understand how hybrid builds work in Diablo 2, especially in Median XL, because this only gives 30% of physical converted to lightning, as you can see, um, on this skill. But it's not bad because when you come to a target that says, like, absorbs lightning, which is basically kind of very similar to immunity, it helps a lot because you still have a bit of physical, I believe, which helps break it down. Let's see if we can get to uh, Izul or Izlul, whatever his name is, and uh, I'll show you how the skill works. The single target one. Now, as for our stats, I've mainly been just putting Constitution and Strength, or sorry, Vitality and Strength, for essentially gear requirements. Uh, energy, I think, is going to be a really good way to scale later, but Dex actually ends up scaling your weapon damage, since it scales off well, Dex, as you can see here. But the thing is, is that early game weapon damage is not very strong, so I don't really think you want to scale Dex at the beginning. Um, so I've pretty much just been putting most of my points into Vitality, like I said. I'll probably respec it later. It's really hard to tell what you want to do, because you kind of need to figure out where you lack, and then you can figure out how to scale. 
Okay, so here he is. Let's show you the single target. So that's pretty much what that skill does. Um, you don't really have to worry about single target. It's mainly just area clearing. Who knows, dude? Maybe we can actually go all the way to Diablo. Let's do it. Let's go. We're gonna speed run to Diablo, boys. Go, go, go! Oh, one other thing is, you do have this other buff called a Static Frenzy, which gives you a bonus to movement speed and attack speed. But if you use it, your defense goes to zero. No. But you are very mad. Uh, so I can show you kind of how that works. But if you don't have defense and you're going melee and you're trying to face tank, there can definitely be some problems, as you can tell, with surviving. So I don't really use that skill. Um, you can use it like in the beginning stages, like Act 1, Act 2, probably even, you know, here. I'm just not a very experienced player with this, so, you know, I've been armor stacking, so I try to, you know, use armor to my advantage and not to my disadvantage. Also, for people wondering why I don't have a mercenary, it's a really early game, it doesn't really matter that much, and because I'm experimenting with a lot of stuff, every time you die, your mercenary dies, which means you have to pay gold to revive it, and I want my gold to be, like, not spent on that. Some big tips for playing melee in this game that I've found a lot to help is uh, holding down right-click on the target until it dies, um, which will help kind of, like, Basically just like focus on that target so you don't get stuck like doing nothing and then shift attacking in place is really nice as well That's not the right way. Skill Shrine, very nice. What is that? It's like a skeleton that's just like AoEing lightning? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, whoa, oh, what the f I don't know what hit me, dude. I think it's the trolls. Right, let's do this. see my res is like okay my poison is 52 that's the lowest one so i don't think that was poison damage that was hurting me though
Hey, it's gum. Absorbs lightning. You know, even though he absorbs lightning, he's still taking quite a bit from lightning. Who's this? Let's get that dude out of the way. our first match with Tanky Boys. Gom is the true boss of Act 4. Try hammer and see if hammer works. Nah, there's no point. Yeah, he's absorbed lightning, so, and I'm like pure lightning build for the most part. I mean, I still do a lot of damage to him, it's just I don't have, uh, I don't have like good mana sustain to spam, to spam that lightning as much as I need to on like an absorb boss, but, you know, this is still like really early into the game. Well, we have, um, this skill actually reduces their enemy lightning res, so the more I put points into that, the better it's going to be. Wait, isn't a boss supposed to spawn from this? No? Oh. A second. You see those little those little rings on the floor. I always mistake them for gold, so I like run around into all the spinny discs. Definitely not what you should be doing. Is there mana? Here we go. Two mana potions with some healing potions. Perfect. I think just in case I will create a portal. And before I get like one shot. Please be nice. Don't hurt me. Oh, what a fucking spot to stand. Let me tell you. Oh, meh, go, lol. Why is Gom like 47 times more tanky than Diablo? <laughs> I like a grave digger survived, dude. Nice. Whoa. Can I give this to a mercenary? This doesn't look that bad. Ravenbeak? Get out of here. Now, the Diablo's not really like paper. I just got a, I just got a certified boss killer build. Unless their name is Gum. 
All right, anyway, guys, I'm going to catch you guys all later. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember, if you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, if you're curious about any Median XL content, the game is free. You just need to have the base game plus expansion installed. Um, and then you can pretty much just do everything from the website. Just Google Median XL. It'll all pop up. Or feel free to check out the previous video. Have a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all in Median XL.